Hearing what Darlena had said, her father was quiet. If that's the case, I think it's a smart decision for both of them to become adventurers, right? Brooke spoke up to fill the silence. Candace nodded. Why waste an advantage? Glancing at the twins, Claire flashed an appreciative smile. Even if they didn't think it was a wise decision, Claire still felt happy to have the twins support her. Hannah's parents were quiet while everyone else was talking. Based on their expressions, they were the same mindset as her parents. Though they seemed more accepting of the idea, especially after what Brooke and Candace said. Philip, I think we should support what our daughter has decided to do. Hannah's mom looked towards Hannah and Claire, flashing an encouraging smile at the two. Turning her head back to Hannah's dad, she continued, You remember that night. We saw what those creatures are capable of doing. Even more, when they overwhelmed the military. What are we supposed to do? Just keep them unable to protect themselves? She placed an arm around her husband's shoulder to comfort him. Hannah's dad looked at Claire's father, asking, What do you think about this, Robert? Though I'm still concerned about Hannah taking on a potentially dangerous skill, I also agree with my wife about the danger those things present. He was quiet for a moment, as though reliving the memories of that night. Though I hope it's unlikely, I just imagine what would happen if those monsters were to break into the shelter. I would want Hannah, at least, to be able to defend herself and potentially escape from harm. Hearing his friend's words, Claire's father looked conflicted about his own feelings. Slowly nodding, he said, I'm beginning to agree with such sentiments, Philip. Directing his gaze to Darlina, Is it likely that those things will be able to break into this place? Listening to his words, Darlina reassured him by saying, Star and Moon has specifically designed these places to be able to withstand threats beyond what the modified humans present. You can feel reassured that your family is safe within the city. What do you mean by that? Claire's father raised an eyebrow. What other threats are there aside from the modified humans? Hearing the wording made by Darlina, everyone tensed. Claire didn't feel as worried considering it was something she had heard previously by Darlina and Melody. She also knew what Darlina's answer would be to such a question. I'm sorry, but I, unfortunately, can't answer that. Just be assured that my words are merely to bring comfort that both families can live comfortably within this place. Darlina said, making it clear that no additional explanation would be made regardless of how they felt about such secrets. Seems like the military isn't the only place that holds their cards close to their chest. Tommy remarked, bitterly smirking at Donina's answer. Abby waved a hand at Tommy's words. It's not like it's unexpected. The fact that such a company was able to hide all of this she waved a hand at the surroundings. I have no doubt they have bigger secrets. Even if we are curious, based on my experience, it's likely better that we don't look too closely. She eyed Claire and Hannah. Just like with Claire and Hannah, I think it's a good idea that we put in effort into gaining strength. I prefer the idea of being able to be independent versus having to rely on the kindness of Star Moon. Her eyes looked at Darlina. No offense, but there's no guarantee that your interests will always align with ours. Instead of answering Abby's comment, Darlina merely nodded its head. Now that we've accepted our situation, 
What are we going to do moving forward? Bill asked. 